Welcome to another Shadow of War pre-release showcase. Today we'll be taking a look at the confirmed enemies and creatures that you will run into into the open world of Mordor and surrounding areas of course. We'll first talk about all the listed creatures so far and of course we'll count the hum humanoids as well. First up we have the annoying little Morgul flies or Mordor flies or whatever you want to call them. Boring creatures. Next up we have rats, uh, which can also be drained for elf shot. They have been in Shadow of Mordor. Also, we have bats, Gorgoroth bats, if we're specific. Next to that, we have hellhogs, which are kind of small birds, uh, and they're described as smaller cousins of the fell beasts. Next to that, we have large and small spiders, the spawn of Shiloh, also known as Ungol. Um, they are actually. They were in Shadow of Mordor, the small ones, but now we're going to have large ones as, as well. And they're both going to be uh, available to use in your army. Next up are ghouls and ghoulmatrons, of course, the creepy little fuckers. Caragors and probably dire caragors, the lions of Mordor. Uh, next to that we have, of course, grouks, which can be used as siege beasts. Uh, you can encounter them in the wild, the normal ones, we also have the icy and fiery and poison ones. Um, and they actually give gems for your gear and weapons. Uh, nothing has been said about the horned, wretched and legendary grouks. Uh, but it is to be expected that they return. Next to this they also confirmed wraiths or barrel whites. We're not sure in what form they will uh, present themselves. But it has been said by Michael the Plotter himself. But he could have been referring to the Nazgul. We don't know. Of course, an exciting new animal is the Drake. You can fly them, you can wreak havoc, um, and they, of course, uh, breathe fire and stuff. They haven't said if there are going to be other types of Drakes, like Ice Drakes. We'll have to wait for that. And uh, next to that there's going to be a large drake and you'll actually be able to ride it. Uh, whether this is a drake, a dragon or a wyvern or whatever, we don't know. Um, but it can be seen in the statue of M the Mithril edition, where you can ride it and you probably will use it to fight off the bow. And that's actually our last creature, which is the bell of Gorgoroth or something. Um, nothing has been said about great beasts, Mumakil, great eagles, ants. Actual trolls, carrigats, wargs, horses and other animals. It would be cool if they added these. Um, there probably are gonna be more animals in the game, but this is as much as we know right now. The Vice President of Monolith, uh, Michael the Platter, said in a livestream that all of the creatures from Shadow of Mordor are making a return. If this includes the DLC, is since this we also have of course the humanoid races and characters. That, that look similar like humans. Of course we have the humans now, uh, of Gondor, mainly Minas Ithil, but probably also slaves. Next to these elves, or at least one elf, we of course have Celebrimbor, which is actually more of a wraith. But we also have the sword of Galadriel in the DLC, which isn't actually, actually a sword, but a person. Um, and this might be the one in the trailer and the poster. Next to that, of course, you will be running into orcs or Ur Urukai, they haven't made a clear distinction between the two. Next to that Ologhai, which are talking trolls. Gollum will be making a return as can be seen on the poster and in the beginning of the trailer during the Mount Doom scene in the bottom left. There's also a woman that is green and partly resembles a tree. Someone speculated that this might be an endwife, but it could be someone totally different. For now all we can do is speculate. Next to this, of course, you will encounter Ring Raids or Nazgul. They uh, can be seen in the trailer attacking Minas Ethil. They will actually take control of that fortress. So maybe you get to fight against them. And of course, the leader of the Ring Raids or Nazgul is the Witch King. And of course, there's the top boss himself, Sauron. In the past game, you didn't really fight him. So let's hope they make an awesome boss fight this time. Uh, nothing has been said about dwarves or hobbits or Thorfinn in particular. It, he has been in the last game. We don't know if he'll make a return. And that's actually everything that's confirmed or suspected to be in the game. E3 is almost near and hopefully by then we know more about the world, beasts and everything in it. 
What's your favorite animal creature or humanoid from the Middle Earth universe? For me, it's probably the Balrog since it's just a pure badass. The large drake seems really cool as well, and next to that, I like trolls. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll release more content regarding Shadow of War in the near future, and we'll take a look at the core mechanics and features of the game, like skills, gears and weapons, and the new Nemesis system. If you're interested in all that, you can subscribe, possibly click the notification bell, and we'll hopefully see you next time. Laters!